Now that you've seen a for loop in action, let's take a look at a while loop. The for loop is used when you know how many times to do something. The while loop is used when you really don't know how many times you want to do something. As long as something is true, keep doing it. Let's see how we do it. First of all, we can leave all of our other code the same. We're going to highlight the for loop statement and type in while parentheses. Inside the parentheses, you're specifying the condition to enter the while loop. For example, in the for loop, it was the second position of the for loop that kept you in that loop. While I count is less than three, we want to stay in this loop. We have a problem though. Remember the first part of the for loop? That's where you initialized your counter variable. If you put your cursor on the error message, it says this variable may not have been initialized. So I'm going to go ahead and click on initialize variable. Watch what happens where I count was created. It went, the computer went and added equals zero. We now know that I count starts at zero. Once again, if you have more than one statement that you want to attach to a loop, you need to put them inside of curly braces or a block of code. The difference between the while loop and the for loop is that the third part of the for loop kept track of incrementing the counter. We need to increment our own counter in the while loop. So down at the bottom of that loop, I could type in I count equals I count plus one. The first time in the loop, I count is equal to zero. Is zero less than three? Yes, it's true. So we drop into the loop and do all of the work, and then we add one to I count. I count used to be zero, now I count is one. Is I count one, I count less than three? Yes, one is less than three. Do the loop, increment I count. Is two less than three? Yes, do the loop, increment I count. Is three less than three? No, get out of the loop, so you go to the bottom bracket for the loop, and then continue processing the rest of the statements in the program. Let's run this and see how it works. Enter the name, Spanky, age, 10, school, rascal. Enter the name, Donald, age, 12, school, Disney. Enter the name, Greg, age, 50, school, BYU. We now have I count equaling three, and it says I'm out of the loop and continuing with the program. Please come again. That's the difference between a while loop and a for loop.